All right, everyone, welcome back for another episode of Inside the Minecraft Studio. Looks like we've got some regulars here, but we are joined by, by a very special guest today. If you'd like to say hello and introduce yourself, please go ahead. Hi, um, I'm Netta. Hey, everyone. <laughs> all right, everyone, we have Netta T. I don't know if you've, uh, if you keep up with 2B, 2T at all, you've seen her attack fit sometimes and kind of follow him around, protect him. I mean, I remember watching one stream where she followed him around through a giant canal and basically watch fit run away from everyone so it's pretty fun to watch so. yeah it's kind of like a love-hate relationship sometimes i try to kill him sometimes i try to protect him <laughs> yeah whatever works yeah it's kind of fun i know if i ever joined the server i'd probably try to harass him a little bit <laughs> so yeah why don't we start off i want you to tell us how you uh got into minecraft and everything well, um, I was always into gaming, and I thought about Minecraft a lot, but I just could never really learn at all how to play. I was really bad at it. And then I kind of started playing a server called Ophion with my friend, and um, from there I just found out about 2B2T, and I thought that I'd join it. And basically, in 2B2T, I learned everything that I know. Sounds like kind of fun. I know, watching... Uh... Watching the videos of 2B2T there, it looks very like a like a very interesting server. But it is. <laughs> it's um it, it's um it's not a friendly place. No. Nah. I can see that. <laughs> That's fair enough, I know. There's definitely a lot of uh swastikas that fly around that area at times, but mm -hmm. perfect. So yeah, why don't we tell you or why don't you tell me about your channel? how did you get started? When did you or I guess when did you start YouTube? Well, um, I had another channel first. I had a channel for makeup and just girly things like um, holes and just other really boring stuff, honestly. And um, so I started off with that, but then I saw that I can't really make those videos. I don't have many ideas to, for them. So um, I thought I'd try out gaming. Yeah, and how have you liked it so far? I really enjoy it, honestly. Yeah. It's been so much fun. Oh, absolutely. I enjoy making every single video. That's good. That's definitely good because if you don't have a if you don't like doing it, it just becomes a chore and it's yeah. just more work. Honestly, YouTube is like my way of expressing my creativity. I can't really paint, I can't um, do anything creative except for maybe editing. <laughs> That's pretty good. Fun. I mean, you know, in in editing, I'm decent. I'm not good, and I'm decent. I mean, your your intros are a lot better than mine. I basically just start off with a couple mouse clicks, and everybody just stares at my inventory in Minecraft. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, what's been your favorite game you've played on your channel? Life is strange. That's my favorite all-time game. Really? It's um, it has a really great storyline. Really? Yeah, I remember watching some of it. But go, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> It's uh, basically a game about a girl who can control time, and um, it basically tells, tells a story about how controlling time can impact everything. Alright, alright. It's, it's, that's a Telltale game, right? Yes. Yeah, I think uh, the only Telltale game I've really played through, well, two of them, been the Game of Thrones one, and not on my channel, but I did play through Tales from the Borderlands on my channel, and that game was absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Alright, so yeah, what's been your, uh, overall, what would you say has been your favorite uh, YouTube experience or any funny stories, really? Um, kind of got to think about that, actually. <laughs> That's fair enough. Um, funny stories, can't really say any. Oh, no, nah, that's alright. Alright, let's, let's try a different way. Let's go, um, <laughs> what's been your favorite interaction with Fit? Because I know everyone, like, 2B2T, I feel, really got exposed once when Rusher got there and Fit went around just killing everything. I'm sure a couple yeah. others did as well, but... Well, um, the first time I uh, met up with Fit was on a Never Highway, and uh, we weren't really friends, let's say. I was a Resistance member, and Resistance was a an enemy group to the incursion which Fit was in. So yeah, I kind of just logged and everybody made fun of that. So I think my favorite experience with Fit would be the uh, afterwards I asked him to duel me. 
and uh, yeah, we dueled and I lost badly, but at least I fought. <laughs> That's like the first time I actually properly fought someone. Oh, it's kind of funny. I think I actually remember seeing that. I remember, um, oh gosh, who was it? There was, uh, someone was attacking Fit, and all of a sudden you came in from out of nowhere and just started defending me. He's like, I like her. She's got girl balls. I'm like, oh god, Fit. <laughs> oh, that's <was> pretty funny. <laughs> I think that was uh, one of his later streams, right? Yeah. That was after Russia stopped making videos. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. It was, it was pretty fun to see. So now, yeah. um, who do you associate the most, or like, which group are you associated with, or would you say you're associated with the most on Tubi? Well, I have my own group, uh, Team Aurora. Oh, really? And, yeah, um, actually, I love this group because everybody there is like my family. I picked out the people really carefully, and, um, yeah, I get along with everybody, and it's just really, really nice to just have a Discord full of people that I can always count on to play with and to just be with. Oh, that's good. And that I feel comfortable around with. Fair enough. Who else, so do you know anyone else that's been in there, or who else are some of the members there? Um, so, the members are um, Chloe, okay. Liam, Luke, Jadaya, Brian, Faraman, uh, John Poo, Oblivion Midnight, and Chairman. Alright. Alright. It looks like we have uh, someone in chat. Do you know a Panda MC? Mm hmm. That's Liam. Oh, that's Liam. That's uh, a member from my group. That's actually uh, the reason why I created the group. Okay. Basically, he got into a fight with. Uh, there's this other group called Peacekeepers. Yeah. Um. He got into a fight with the leader and got kicked from the group. And uh, we were friends, so I decided that I should just create my own group and invite my own friends into it. Okay. All right. No, that's kind of cool. And then I'm guessing you guys have a couple bases somewhere. Um, you don't have to tell me the location. But... Um, we're planning on building a spawn base soon. Okay. Um, I'm going to set things up and invite people there to build. All right. All right. That'll be fun. Let's see. We got someone around here throwing invisibility potions, as you can see. <laughs> but, alright, alright, let's see what else we got here. So let's go to this list of questions I have here. Alright. So let's see here, and then since you uh, said your favorite game that you've streamed was uh, Life is Strange, do you have any other favorite games that you like to play? Um, Minecraft, honestly. Yeah. I used to play a lot of games. Um, I used to play The Walking Dead, and uh, I don't even remember. Oh, I like to play Shell Shock. I actually played Shell Shock yesterday with uh, my old friend. Um, yeah, I used to play Shell Shock every single day, but then I kind of got into 2B2T, and that kind of takes up all of my time. All right, who is um, or what is Shell Shock? What kind of game is it? It's a tank game. You. It's a really simple game, honestly. You just aim and shoot. You have like a trajectory, and then you can, um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Basically, it's 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 a pretty simple game, but it's entertaining. Fair enough. It sounds kind of cool. I mean, I've been looking for a couple other games to play on my channel, so maybe I'll have to check that one out. See kind of see if it's fun at all. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'll have... It's fun with friends. Okay. Especially if you have like. A few friends to play so uh, the server just gets filled up and it's just chaos honestly fun oh, okay all right let's see i just had another question for you here while i was thinking about it all right oh yeah so let's talk about that uh uhc we've been doing or we did there so uh, yeah. as we saw i know you and i were on may relatively quickly but it seems like a lot of fun i mean how long have you have you done a lot of uhc's or I I have done a few UHCs after the server was created, but um, that was my first real proper UHC. Yeah, the same with me. I mean, <laughs> never played it before, and then all of a sudden I found out baby zombies are just the bane of my existence. <laughs> all right. And I believe the final episode comes out here next Sunday or Monday? I'm not sure. I'll have to mm -hmm. double check there. Somewhere around that. <laughs> 
I think the last episode came out yesterday, so it should be Monday. Okay. All right. And let's continue with Minecraft talk here. So what has been your your worst moment or your least favorite moment on in Minecraft in general, I guess, or on 2B, either one? On 2B? Really? I can't really think of worst moments because I just love that server so much. It's like even bad moments are good in a way because I can learn from them. Yeah. Maybe that time that I logged from Fit on the highway because I was so scared. <laughs> I didn't even have a weapon to fight him, so I couldn't really stay. Yeah. But um, on Minecraft, probably the time that I died in UHC on the first episode. <laughs> yeah. I know. Once we all saw that, we're like, what? But. <laughs> I never died. I usually go to like the end of UHCs, but. <laughs> Uh, that's right. I'm sure there'll be others that will participate in that will really um, will be able to do a little bit better. I'm pretty sure I'm starving right now. Oh, that's right. I forgot to give you food beforehand. Um, <laughs> let's see. Well, if You're if you health. die from starving, uh, you can just come back here. Actually, yeah. you know, here we'll do this right. I uh, type forward slash spawn really quickly. Spawn. Yeah, just forward slash spawn and then can give you some steak because you can't transfer things on the island there. I totally forgot to do that. How unprofessional. Oh, yeah. Ow. This hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and then in, just let me know when you're in front of me because I believe you have an invisibility potion on. Someone has thrown splash potions everywhere. Teleportation was stopped. Oh, yeah, sorry. You have to hop out of the, the AFK pool there really quickly, but... Yeah, while we're getting this, um, okay. what's your music taste like? Do you have any favorite bands or anything that you like to listen to? My favorite band is One Direction. Okay. Food. Hey, oh Nitro's gosh. here. This is my adopted little brother. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he basically runs Poor my Discord. Food. Yay, melons. All right. But, um, yeah, music. Once I go to your island. Yeah, absolutely. And while uh while we're getting this all set up, chat, if you have any questions for Netta, feel free to throw them in there, and I'll be writing them down as we're going and being able to ask them as well. So if you have any dying un or questions you're dying to have a have answered. And I'm going through the hole. I'm here. All right. Perfect. Perfect. So, do you have a, a specific type of genre or genre of music you like to listen to the most, or? Not really. It's mostly pop, mm -hmm. but I like um, Imagine Dragons too, which is like pop rock, I'd say. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> That's fair. And um, other bands really that I like are um, Five SOS. Okay. Uh, female singers that I like are Taylor Swift. Um, New ones that I recently found out about were, uh, hey, uh, <laughs> wait, I actually forgot her name. Oh, that's um, right. One is Melanie Martinez. Her songs are really, really cool, and her videos are sometimes disturbing, but also <laughs> has a very good message. Okay. All right. Fair enough. And then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's understandable. I, there are definitely a lot of good bands out there. I mean, Taylor Swift. I, I'm not like the biggest fan of her music, but it's really funny to troll fit with it every now and again. <laughs> so, <laughs> what songs do you choose? Uh, there's one that I, it's a secret weapon to use against fit. It's the Black Eyed Peas. Tonight's gonna be a good night because, like, when we were in college, we would always play that in the house whenever, uh, whenever we just felt like getting under his skin, and he'd just be like, "No, you can't play that." <laughs> As a terrible fit impersonation, <laughs> but all right, let's see here. Uh, what about movies? Do you like any movies, or do you have any favorites? Uh, my favorite movies are the series Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, nice. The favorite one from that would be the first part. Yeah. The, the Curse of the Black Pearl. And um, also Harry Potter. Mm hmm. All right. Yeah, I've seen the Harry Potter movies. Never read the books, but enjoyed from what I saw. Even though, spoiler alert, my favorite character was killed. So, let's be real, Bellatrix was by far the best character in the whole series. 
Oh yes, she was. <laughs> She's just so unique. She is, and absolutely insane, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, do you play any instruments or anything like that, or what? You, apart from like gaming, do you have any any talents that you'd like to brag about a little bit here? I have a guitar, but I really can't play it. And then um, talents. I could be a decent singer if I actually trained my voice. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I remember I was on TV when I was really, really small, like maybe four to five years old. I was actually on TV singing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's super cool. Ah, uh, the splash invisibility potions are back. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's one thing I've never been able to do. Like I can play the piano and guitar, but singing is just not not my forte there. Mhm. Mm I love singing. All right. Do you have any specific song you really like to sing the most, or one that you really you'd consider yourself to be proficient in? At? Mm, not really. My favorite song, though, is um, uh, "Little Me" by Little Mix. I just think that really, it really fits me. Okay. All right, I'll have to check that out because I don't, I can't recall if I've ever heard it or not. At least it's not coming to mind, but. It's about being braver around people and uh, reaching for your dreams. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, that's definitely a good message to, to send to people. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see here. What's the, what would you consider the craziest thing you've ever done in life? Like, have you ever gone skydiving or anything exciting like that? I'd love to, but never really done anything. I was actually going to go bungee jumping uh, in November with my friend, but then we decided that it's way too cold. Oh. So we just decided to do it in summer, so I might do it. Well, if you do, you should definitely do a, a video of it if you have a, camera, a portable camera you can bring. Cause I think yeah, definitely. Cool. Let's see. All right, and then what are, what's your biggest fear in life? Or like, what are you scared of? Um, that's a hard question. I'm not really scared of anything specifically. I don't have really big fa fears. Oh, see, that's kind of nice. I am absolutely terrified of heights. Like, you get me like two stories up, and my knees just buckle, and I'm like, nope, nope. And I just, I'll just sit down on the ground and wait for someone to come save me, like always. Yeah, same with my mom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then let's see the other thing. I don't like deep water. I mean, I don't know about you, but like anything could be underneath there you just don't know oh i guess one of the fears can be just big waves in the sea just um kind of dragging me in oh yeah are you a strong swimmer or kind of scared of that huh? are you a strong swimmer i am a good swimmer yeah okay all right and let's see here cross those questions off the list and then are you in college there, or, I guess, pursuing any kind of education or schooling at the moment? I studied medicine last year, oh. but this year I kind of took a break from all studies. Yeah. I quit medicine, actually, this summer, and, um, yeah, this year I'm just thinking about what I want to do, because medicine was just too hard for me. Yeah. You really need to want it to actually continue doing it and I also had YouTube as well as medicine so kind of can't work together yeah. you either have to choose one or the other it's just you don't have time for both so yeah but next year I'm thinking about taking genetics maybe okay oh man that'd be super in interesting but yeah definitely medicine is one of those things you really have to really kind of have to put your all into it and not have a social life yeah. for a while also, it takes 10 years to actually, like, get somewhere. It takes, um, in Lithuania, you have to study medicine for six years, and then you get an internship somewhere mm -hmm. where you also work for at least four years more. So at least 10 years. And if you want to become something like a brain surgeon or something, you have to study for way more. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a big commitment. <laughs> but those that can do mm -hmm. it, it's... Very impressive. Yeah. Oh, all right. Let's see here. All right. What is uh? What's something you're most proud of in your life, or something that you're really? I don't know. Like, I guess 
though I can kind of equate this question like whenever you go to like I don't know see your old family or old friends or something like that what's one thing that you're just really proud of that you can't wait to tell them Ooh. I know I'm sorry this is not really a question know, it's, answer it's, on like, spot. it's like mm, I don't know I always like to tell them how well I'm doing in YouTube because I know that a lot of them think it's stupid mm -hmm. But I love it so much, and I just want to tell them, oh my gosh, I reached that many subscribers, or um, I got that many views on my video. It's like, I want to prove to them that I, I can actually do YouTube, and that, you know, they shouldn't see it as a stupid thing. Yeah, no, definitely. It's definitely a lot of fun, and I don't know, a lot of people think, oh, it's so simple, you just put videos on the internet, and people mm -hmm. watch them, but, you know, actually getting a fan base is can be a little difficult because you really have to establish a, a persona or you really mm -hmm. get yourself out there and then you know whether people choose to watch or not is completely up to them but and you also have to be consistent you can't just uh, upload for one month and then completely abandon the channel for another yeah if you don't feel like it yeah exactly exactly all right cross that one off the list yeah i'm kind of a nerd people always make fun of me for having a notebook by my computer but it helps helps a lot mm. all right and what about your i know it's kind of a just really generic question is there any food you really like more than others or any you can't stand uh, my favorite food is pancakes oh. which everybody seems to be surprised about i don't know what's so surprising about that i mean i think you're honestly i think the first person to say pancakes are their favorite i think it's just kind of like everyone just expects like oh you know pizza or a nice burger or something like that but no, pe pancakes are definitely delicious. Yeah, my mom makes amazing pancakes. I can never recreate those. All right. Uh. Yeah, and uh, also, Lapuania does not have maple syrup. I've searched oh. everywhere. Oh no. We do not have maple syrup. <laughs> so I have pancakes with uh, jam. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's uh, definitely something you might have to import from another country. Like maple syrup is absolutely delicious. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So have you, uh, and how many different countries have you visited then? Because, like, if you're in Lithuania there, like, have you just stayed in that country? Have you visited any other places, or? Well, I've lived, actually, in a different country. I've lived in Belgium oh. twice. Okay. Once, I moved there when I was, um, around 8 to 10 years old for three years. Yeah. And then, um, the second time I was in my last years of school, and lived there for two years so that's where I basically learned English and um, Belgium is a really small place with a lot of neighbors so it's really easy to travel to places like France Germany Switzerland um, yeah so I've been to those places I've always uh, I've also been on vacations to Greece and Turkey mm -hmm. I'd say my favorite place is Greece Greece? It just has a really interesting mythology. And it's really interesting to see all of those ancient places with really amazing stories behind them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I can imagine that being just just a wonderful trip to go on and visit. Mm-hmm. All right. So have you ever made it over to the U.S. at all? No, I wish. <laughs> it's just way too expensive. Only... The flight forward and backwards would cost uh, over a thousand dollars. Yeah. But I wish to go there at some point. Oh, I'm sure you'll make it someday. It's definitely uh, I don't know. It's nice living here. I like it here. But that being said, I've only ever been to Mexico, Canada, and Guatemala there. So, I mean, apart from Canada, Canada. Well, it's more than most Americans. That's true. That's true. Most Americans only travel in America, which is understandable because America is such a huge place. It could be a continent. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely, you know, you got a wide diversity of different people and cultures here. So it's definitely a nice place to to live. You get a little bit of, a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. I guess. But, all right. So let's see here. What, uh, what kind of jobs have you had? Or I guess how many jobs have you had? Or is there one that you really like more than the others? Or... I have a job right now, hmm? but um, I'd rather not oh, disclose yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. <laughs> TBTT stuff, just, <laughs> if you say anything personal, it's just going to be used against you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I could totally see that. All right. 
to the next question here. Cross those off. All right, I know we kind of covered this already, but what other hobbies outside of uh, Minecraft and gaming do you do? I know you said you play guitar, and, or you have a guitar and you sing, but are there any other hobbies you have? I like uh, swimming and yoga, and I also run sometimes. Okay. When I force myself to. <laughs> yeah. I, I try to do it regularly, but then it just messes up, and I kind of stop for a bit. But um, yeah, I try to stay active. Oh, well, it's definitely good. I know uh, being or being a YouTuber, having to do that, it's definitely it can kind of become obsessive where you just want to get content out all of the way, and sometimes just mm -hmm. neglect a social life or actually getting outside and just you know living really. So yeah, I have not talked to my real life friends in a few days, so I should probably message them after the interview. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So let's see here. Let's let's get some questions from chat. Oh, we got one here. Neta T, do you like AMC's The Walking Dead? Yes, I love it. I watch every single episode. Although, lately, the seasons have been... The quality is down, but this is expectable when the series is going on for so long. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I know, it's like the first couple seasons were just really good. Everything was super intense, and now it's kind of like just a mm -hmm. soap opera with zombies every now and again. Yeah. I think that was who was that? I think that was George Romero that said that and that was just that was great do you like really terrible horror movies by chance or are you not a horror movie fan I like uh, psychological horror movies okay they really get to the mind and then honestly I think I'd like those movies I just never watched them I think that they're better watched with friends I don't really have friends that would want to watch them yeah because uh, I know I think I, t I was telling Toro about this. Uh, whenever my best friend comes in town, we always... Because Carter has Netflix out on the main TV in our living room there. And every time he comes in town, we just kill his Netflix feed with just like the worst... The worst kind of horror movies you can find on Netflix. Like, I think I said one and a half stars is too many stars. So... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely keeps it interesting there. Oh, let's see here. Ash... Lithuania doesn't have Netflix. <gasps> Lithuania doesn't have a lot of things. Oh wow, that's that's upsetting. Yeah. I'm so sorry. There's, there's a Lithuanian site for movies and everything, but obviously it comes out later than in Netflix and everywhere else. All right. Let's see. Here. Ash says he loves your accent. To be honest, there. Oh wow, my whole chat loves Thank your accent you. there. Thank you. All right. My accent is uh, mixed between a Belgian and a Lithuanian one. That's pretty great. So what languages, or how many different languages do you speak then? I only speak Lithuanian and English. Okay. I'd actually want to learn languages like French and German. I used to not like French, but now I feel like that's a beautiful language. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely nice to listen to. And then uh, someone in the chat asked, "Would you be able to? Or would you be willing to speak some Lithuanian for us?" Uh, what should I say? Any suggestions? All right, chat. What should she say in Lithuanian? We'll wait for it here. I'm sure it's probably gonna be like the most obscene thing you've ever heard, but. Okay, you know what? They're just going on about their own things there. So I don't know. Let's uh, just uh, just start talking, and we'll see what happens. Um, I I just I'm so bad at thinking of things to say. Yeah. It's I kind of need a suggestion. All right. Uh, why don't you just say uh, hi? My name is Netta, and I'm being interviewed by the most wonderful person in the world. And just kind of go from there. Um, labas, mano vardas Neda ir dabar aš turiu intervius su nuostabausiu žmogumi pasaulyje. Well, there you go. You heard it from her yourself. Most wonderful person <laughs> in the world is right here. So, <laughs> sorry I had to get a little vanity, vanity issue there. Well, you don't actually know what I said. I'm just Might assuming... You're the worst person in the world. <laughs> I just assume the best from people here. I would I'm assume kidding. you wouldn't lie to me. But we'll see. <laughs> no, I'm not a liar. 
Oh, someone says you should say that you like pancakes. Uh, That's perfect. That's absolutely incredible because I have my, well, my heritage, I'm German and Lithuanian from my mother's and father's sides. So it's actually kind of cool that you're from Lithuania mm -hmm. there. Nice. <laughs> Someone's like, that sounds like gibberish. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, I guess we have Jedi in the chat here. Or at least that's what someone's saying. Oh, really? I don't know if I believe them. My chat's a little... They can get a little wacky at times, but... They're a good group of people. Alright. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop reading the chat. That's just gonna end poorly for everyone there. Alright, so yeah, what are your uh, future goals for your channel here? Um... Honestly, I just want to keep uploading videos. I don't really care about... I don't have any goals. Obviously, it's nice to reach um, a milestone, I guess, like 5,000 subscribers maybe soon at some point. I think it's doable. Um, yeah, but honestly, I just, I just hope to create videos for as long as I can. All right. All right, and then what would ever cause you to stop uploading or making videos? Just work and school, I guess, whenever I don't have any time for YouTube, which would be sad. Yeah. I've stopped uploading because of 2B2T and work um, last month, I think. Honestly, I haven't been too consistent on my channel. I will try this month, but lately hasn't really worked out yeah so honestly the only thing that can come in between me and youtube is work and school so real life <laughs> yeah all right all right well let's see here unless chat has any other questions i think we'll probably uh move to the end here and get this final um questionnaire done if that works for you yeah okay all right uh, let me find where I wrote all the questions down here. So yeah, uh, as always, you know, I based this final questionnaire off of uh, Inside the Actor Studio that was hosted by James Lipton, and at the end of every interview, he would read off a list of 9 to 10 questions by one of his favorite interviewers, Bernard Peebo. So, let's start off with this. Mm -hmm. Netta, what is your favorite word? That's hard. Oh, I know. <laughs> These are very open questions, so. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm on the spot. Uh, love. Oh, okay. And Neto, what is your least favorite word? Oh my gosh, this this is hard. Oh, don't worry, it only gets worse from here. <laughs> um, mm, hate. Hey. That's like the opposite of love. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, and then what turns you on, like, creatively, spiritually, or emotionally? Hmm. Oh my gosh, these questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone died. I'm stealing all their stuff. <laughs> okay, what turns me on? don't know that's the problem I just let's ask you a different way what's your what inspires you just um friends I guess friends? being yeah that's a good one yeah being being with friends talking to them all right and then kind of the same question what turns you off Ooh. talking to the people I don't like Oh, that's very understandable. That's, that just really shuts me up immediately. I cannot speak at all. Alright. And what is your favorite curse word? I would say... I mean, if you curse. If you... Oh, perfect. There it is. <laughs> yep. Alright. And then what noise or sound do you love? Noise or sound...
Oh gosh, I'm sorry that I'm thinking so oh, long. No, don't take your time. These aren't easy questions. Yeah. If anything, it just what extends the video. Sound? So I'm okay with it. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of a sound that might remind me of something. Yeah. Just really songs that bring up memories, good memories. Okay. And then, as you can kind of tell, I'm sure, what noise or sound do you hate? Hmm. I don't really. There's... I guess the screeching sound of, like, nails on a board. Or something Ooh. just generic that everybody hates. Yeah. That, yeah, that's Something a... like that, you know, that you just can't listen to, that just goes through the ears. Oh, I know, uh, when people go uh, really close to their minds and microphones and try to like speak really loudly that just goes through the ears <laughs> people do that all the time in 2 speed discords yeah oh i can imagine that yeah that's that's always a little rough all right and let's uh next question here netta let's see if i could read my own handwriting uh what profession <laughs> other than yours would you like to attempt a singer i've always wanted to be a singer Ooh, that's, yeah that's a solid choice that's a solid choice there and then uh what profession would you not like to attempt? Mm. See, the questions what I don't like or what I hate are always the hardest ones. Yeah. Never really think about that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if it helps, I think Carter said he wouldn't want to be a dildo tester, and I think Fitz said... <laughs> oh gosh, what did Fitz say? I don't recall. I want to say it was like a bomb test, bomb tester or something like that. That's those are pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, pretty pretty bad uh, careers. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I know it's anything to do with animal slaughter. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, and then Netta, the last question here. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say to you when you arrive at the pearly gates? Um, oh gosh, these questions, too much thinking. It's all right, it's the last one here. Yeah, so much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would God say to me well, what I want him to say mm. what did other people say let's see here I think Fitz said uh, when I asked him that question what would you like to hear God say when you arrived, to him at, arrived at the pearly gates he just said how and I think that was Fitz I don't remember Carter's or Toro's <laughs> oh god <laughs> I remember them both being pretty good there, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, really, it can be anything at all. Anything... anything at all. Uh... What if, just a uh, scenario, if it's, uh... <laughs> not fit. <laughs> uh, God says, uh... something like... Um, oh, Netta, I have a special place for you. Brings me to a hole in the ground, just pushes me off to hell. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, well, everyone, thank you for tuning in. It's been a very great time hanging out with Netta T and getting to know her a little bit better. So thank you all for your questions in chat and for hanging out. Netta, was there anything you wanted to say before we uh, end the stream here? Um, just that it was really, really fun. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course. Of course. I'm glad to have you. I'm glad we can make it work. I know the first time we had some uh, technical issues here trying to get people on the server, but, you know, that's all right. It works, and we got it done. So, again, thank you yeah. so much. And as you can see, you got, got a little fan base over here going, so. <laughs> They're really nice. They're just staying there. I know. There's only one person I had to ban from the island, but as soon as the stream's over, we'll unban them. <laughs> so, all right. Ladies and gentlemen. This has been Inside the Minecraft Studio with Netta T. And we added her name to the board already up here. So thank you.
and I will see you guys all in a later stream. And be sure to check out Netta's content. Uh, she's going to send me all her links and information there for her channels. I'll post them down in the description, so feel free to check it out and subscribe to her. Let's get her to 5,000 subs and see what happens. So. Yay. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you again.